All right, guys. I'm working on these oil filter remover pliers. It's got a spring in it, something. But anyways, I'm take it apart and see what I come up with. But I don't know if I can get this off or not. This might be, I probably should have. Oh, no, I'm gonna have to go get some wrenches. Be right back. Let me see what I can find. All right, I'm back. I got an old, uh, I don't know. I don't know what this is. It's an old wrench, though. Then I got a 7 8 or an 18 millimeter on this side. I hope I'm not screwing up. Make sure I can get that spring. Clean these threads up. All right, let's see what we got here without shooting out at me. It's rusted pretty good. Look at that. Looky, looky, looky. Okay, there's a, what kind of spring is that? Oh, don't shoot out of there at me. Okay, it's just like a, I call it a C-clip. I've seen C-spring. Let's see if you guys can. The spring. Goes in one right there. And then this rides on this pivot right there. So when you open and close, it pushes the spring down. Okay. Boy. I think I might want to set this in some rust remover. Yeah, I might want to let that sit for a little while. Especially the spring, nut and bolt. Boy, the threads are screwed up. I'm going to have to fix that. I'm never going to get that back in there, I don't think. Oh, I hate it when I do that. I'm going to have to figure out what thread pitch that is. All right. Let's set these in some rust remover. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Working on this uh, oil filter remover tool, removing tool. The, some of the tools that came out of that, uh, I bought this from the thrift store, and some of the stuff came out of, uh, it came out of a locker, a storage locker. I'm kind of wondering if this might not be a Mac tool. Because I do know that there was a, uh, I got a, almost a complete set of sockets out of, uh, quarter inch sockets that are Macs out of there. And there was a lot of blue point stuff. So, but I haven't found a name on this thing yet. Put it in that rust remover and then I uh, went over it uh, with some water, rinsed it real good because that rust remover is uh, a little aggressive. It's not like uh, it's rust -oleum rust remover and it is a little aggressive. It's, it's not like that other stuff. Anyways, let me go to the wire wheel and uh, run these over the wire. Get it down to the bare metal. I'm probably going to have to paint this black. I might have to learn how to blue some of that cold bluing. I've tried some of it and I didn't like it. So let me uh, let me go clean this up.
use that hammered black. Still haven't looked up to see what brand these were. And they may be a no name, I don't know, but I do suspect though it might be a Mac or Macco. Ah, one thing I don't like about tape. Never comes off the way you want it. All right. Now, let's get this on. Let's see, how are we going to do this? I think spring goes in there. <laughs> Can't remember how I took it apart. That sucks. That's that's what's bad. Okay, this goes like that. So 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 oops. I think I'm doing it wrong. Something's not right. Okay, so this latches. This goes, gotta go something like this. Okay. So the spring has to set. That don't make sense. Spring can't go on the outside. How does it fit through there? That. It's bad when you take something apart and you can't remember what you did. No way. No way, that can't go like that. has to lock in like that. Yeah. So how does a spring how does a spring how does that spring sit? Man that spring has to go down. Spring has to be like this. So the spring, go, the spring go in the hole. It does. Okay. No, no way. What the heck am I doing wrong here? There's no way that can fit like that.
Well, that definitely doesn't fit. That definitely doesn't work. Can't. Here's it. So if this. Hmm. What's the slot for, though? The slot's got to be for the spring. But if the spring fits like this. Maybe I'm being a dumbass. That's what it is. I'm being stupid here. Yep. I'm being stupid. I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing here. Okay. That has to go like that. That's it, right there. That's it. That's it. Oops. It's got to be it. That's the only way it can fit. I'll dry fit everything first before I put some Loctite on it or paint it or anything. It has to have a little bit of play. Yeah, it had a spring motion to it. That's it. Okay, but how tight does it have to be is the next question. All right, let me get some wrenches. All right, trying to figure out exactly the tightness it needs to be which I think that's pretty good right there. But you know what? I may not even... I may not even Loctite it. I'll just peen this. I think I'll just peen it over. All right, let me get my hammer. That's it. Oh yeah. Oh, I got it up in that one last spot. <laughs> Why doesn't it want to come up? There it goes. I may have a little too tight, but that's all right. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. I'm starting on my new case of carburetor cleaner. All right. Let's get this handle cleaned off real good. This was used quite a bit. Tell by the black <laughs> the the handle whoever this was in someone's mechanic shop I'm sure this was not in a homeowner shop there's no way this can be this black from just a homeowner I still could not find well I say I could not find I really have not looked for a good name on it couldn't find anything marking but then again it was rusted it's hard to say got one of these it's a cheap version it works I don't mind using it but some places you can't get to it I mean uh, you can't get up under there under some of the vehicles I think my my wife's little car you can't get up underneath it oh man 
and they cleaned up good. I, uh, <laughs> I'm terrible about cleaning my tools up. I don't leave my tools. Usually when I'm done using, working on a vehicle or whatever, I, uh, even at work when I'm done, I end of the day, I wipe everything down and put them up. I cannot leave tools lying around. I just can't do it. I work with a lot of old timers and most of the time, the guys that I work with didn't leave anything lying around. They uh, firm believer in picking their stuff up. I remember I worked with guys that were in the military and uh, they smoked their cigarettes and they'd put them out on their boot and stick the butts in their pocket. At the end of the day, they would uh, empty their pockets out. That's what I call cleaning up. Those of you, and I worked with some guys back in the day that some of them, would, you can tell they, they weren't trained very well. They take their cigarette butts and they just drop them in the wall or wherever we were working. No, nah, I can't do that. Yeah, it cleaned up pretty good. I need to go see if I can find a maker on this. I'll tell you what, I'll do that. Ooh, carburetor cleaner. Stinks. Be right back. All right, guys, I don't know where I was. The camera died on me. Uh, anyways, uh, cleaned them up, looked pretty good. These are $109, and it is a Matco. There's a, it, it, there's a two-piece kit they sell uh, together, oh, smaller and larger. I've got the smaller, it's hard to believe, the smaller one, but they make another one. It's made for tractors, semis, and stuff like that. It comes in a kit. So, I, did, I think I did pretty good for, I don't know, 10 cents, whatever I got in this thing. I don't remember what, what buy I did, but uh, I think it came from the thrift store. Anyhow, uh, I'm gonna leave this metal here and this, if it starts to turn, I will change, I'll probably paint it, but for now I'm just going to leave it. But, oil filter wrench. Mac, Matco brand, M-A-T-C-O. And if you look them up, I can't remember the model number now, but they're, they come in a kit of two. There's two of them. So, not a bad buy. I, I'm pretty happy, and they're heavy too. They're, they're well made. They're, they're not cheap. And... They were used. I mean, you can tell obviously by the handles were real black and dirty, so. But a good buy all around. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, keep looking for old junk tools. You'll be surprised what you find. Stop by your thrift stores. Make friends with somebody in there. Pawn shops. Tell them what you're looking for. Some of these guys, they'll, uh, especially the guys at these thrift stores and stuff, they buy uh, storage lockers and they come across all kinds of junk. And that's the reason I thought this might be Matco because of all the sockets that were Matco in there and some of the odd stuff in there was Matco. Uh, I don't know. Lost train of thought. Oh well. Subscribe if you like. Tell me what you think. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Let me know. I'm pretty happy with my buy. Uh, these come in real handy. Alright guys. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you now.